hand. Huh. So when you make the adjustments, you're going to hear a few pops in there. That's all normal. It's just pressure being released from the joints in the form of gas bubbles. Nothing grinding, nothing cracking. Are you asking me? No, nope, I'm, I'm just telling, telling you. you. I'm okay. telling you. I'm telling right. you. Now, remember you have that curve that's going the wrong direction in the neck? Yes. So one thing we do is I'm going to do a web contact right at that apex. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to lift your head up in extension. So I'm almost like forcing and manually forcing that curve in the neck. And I'm going to do a little drop and you're going to hear this table drop down like this. I'm just going to manually force that curve with a nice little drop. I'm going to do a few of those. Is that okay? Yeah. Nothing like getting your face slammed in the table, right? <laughs> yeah. Wakes you right up. Maybe your kids need that too. <laughs> just like that. I'm going to do one more there. Force that curve. Bring that head back. Help that posture. Very nice. Juicy in there, huh? <laughs> How you doing, bud? Good. Good. And then, remember, you had a pretty, you had a curve in your low back, but it was almost a little too much. So what I'm going to do is we're going to traction that out, kind of create some opening of the spine here, Jeremy. When this table goes down, it creates a negative pressure, which forces nutrients and fluids into your discs. Discs are unique, they do not get direct blood supply. They only get nutrition through proper motion, a process called imbibition. And so, it's not just your discs, it's all cartilage, it does not get direct blood supply. And they call cartilage different things depending on where it's at in the body. So in the knee, they call it meniscus, in the spine, they call it discs. And since they don't get direct blood supply, when you have a damaged meniscus or disc or any type of cartilage, it's very hard to heal because of the lack of blood supply. So it just makes sense that we just got to make it healthy and keep it healthy for life. Mm. Wellness and prevention, very important. And this is going to make you nice and tall, okay? <laughs> is that cool? Open up those discs. Is that pressure okay? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah? All right. If it's too intense, just kick me, okay? <laughs> then I'm going to raise this up here. This is going to drop down. Part of what we want to do is flatten that low back. So I'm going to contact your sacrum. We're going to traction down like this, nice and easy. There we go, traction, drop. So it's a good thing you went pee before this. <laughs> yeah. Traction, drop. Yeah, I did follow the signs of the urinal. <laughs> I don't know who put that up there. <laughs> Traction down. Apparently somebody's peeing all over. Hey, the floor. So apparently there's a there's a bad apple out there. Yeah. Yeah. You're not gonna fall. Don't worry. I haven't dropped anyone today. Okay. okay. We come right in here. We get your pelvis here. Okay. Nice okay. little low back area. Ooh. I know. A little tight. Come right in here. Good. I'm gonna do one more. Okay. Come in here, we're flattening that little back, opening up that sacrum. So remember on your x-ray, Jeremy, your head's going like this. Do you remember that? Yep. How the right side was compressed. So what we're going to do is we're going to be lifting this up a little bit, okay? Okay. The magic hug. And where are you coming from? Alito, Texas. Alito, Texas. Shout out to Alito. There we go. <laughs> All the way from Texas. And you're a CrossFitter too. So we're coming here, okay? You just relax, I got you. Mm -hmm. I'm just feeling what's going on. So I'm gonna come right in here, okay? And I'm just gonna be moving your head around. So you just relax. There we go. Head down. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to let that head fall all the way into my hand. There we go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you feel a little release up there, huh? Yes. Yeah. And it gets up high because it's actually lifting that occiput up. Helping your posture. Right 
up here and make it this lower right side, right where that curve is starting to go that wrong direction here. And what I want you to do on this one is just really let that head fall nice and heavy, okay? To where? Just let your head fall, yeah. Okay. Just nice and easy. Okay. Yep. Oh. Ah. Man. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Man. <laughs> ah. <laughs> that was like a splinter sticking out. It just. Uh, uh. Took that thing right out there. Oh. Breaking out those cobwebs, man. This is gonna be nice. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about that one. I'm gonna come in here. This one may or may not have a cavitation because we got that upper area with that occipital lift. I'm gonna come in here, really just for let that fall. It's almost like you're nice and heavy. And then I want you to take that left shoulder and just lower it a bit. Ooh. Man. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> That'll wake you up, huh? Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, I thought your neck wasn't going to move. See that? It's a good way to start the day, right there. Healthy nerve supply. I'll see a handstand walk later. That's right. That's right. Well, no. you can do handstand walks, but you got to do them strict. Okay? <laughs> no, the, the the kipping ones I'm not a fan of. That's a lot of that's a lot of axial compression right, <laughs> on, the, right on the dome there, and that's not good for the neck. For, for, helps your scores, but it's not uh, not real conducive for that. <laughs>